If you follow these three tips, you'll learn how to use Time Machine on your Mac. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for more Pro Mac tips. Time Machine is a built-in Mac OS application that helps us back up our computer hourly, weekly, monthly, however way you want to set it. But it doesn't have to be that big. You can also restore individual files. So say, for example, you accidentally deleted a file and you didn't find out until a week later. You can roll back with the Time Machine backup and get that file back. So a quick question for you viewers out there. How often do you back up your Mac? Is it every once in a while? Is it daily? Or only when you're upgrading a new Mac OS or getting a new computer? Comment down below. We would love to know. We recommend a regular routine of backing up your computer so you have more options and more up-to-date restore points instead of just waiting for big events and that way you don't risk losing data. So before you even use Time Machine to restore your computer, make sure you have a completely clean external hard drive to use. There should be zero files on this. So once you plug in your hard drive, we're going to go to settings in general, then Time Machine. Here I have two devices that I backed my computer up on and if you need to add any hit the plus sign and any unrecognized external hard drive will pop up on that list and you could add it as a potential place to back up your computer. Once you've done that you want to right click on your option and hit backup now. So something to consider is that you really don't want to back up the system junk that's sitting on your computer as well. So let's use an app called Clean My Mac X. From this homepage I'm going to go to system junk and run a quick scan. This module provides all the types of junk that is stored on your computer, most of which we don't even know about. Of course, we know about our downloads folder, but we also have something called universal binaries, log files, broken login items, so on and so forth. Some of these junk categories can be so big because they have been accumulating over time in the background without us knowing. So thanks to this program, we have the choice to remove this garbage. So once you select that, hit clean. And just like that, Clean My Mac X made it so easy to clear off system junk from our computer before we make a precious backup. And if you want to get started with this program, there's a download link in the description box below to get you squared away. I highly recommend this program. So here's how to restore individual files from your Time Machine backup. Up in the top right corner, there's a Time Machine icon right here and hit Browse Time Machine Backups. Now you have this menu to scroll through every registered Time Machine backup that you have. And on the right, you could scroll through each backup. If you see a file that you want, go ahead and right click it and you could hit restore and you could repeat the process as often as you need for any file or folder. If you want to restore your entire Mac from a backup, you have to enter something called a recovery partition. On the screen right now are the simple instructions to restore your Mac from that recovery partition. And if you need any more help on checking storage on your Mac, there's a link right up here to a video to help you get started. Thank you guys so much for watching another video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for more pro Mac tips.